In this video, I'll be showing you five dark GTK desktop themes for GNOME or Ubuntu. Now you can swap between themes by using Ubuntu Tweak or Unity Tweak Tool. Most of these themes have installers, so you don't have to mess around manually copying files to the .themes folder under your home folder. But that's the way to do it if you want to manually set up that way. The first theme I'm starting with is called Zen Nocto. So it's got a nice combination of a dark grey background, light grey writing, and green for scroll bars and buttons. In Nautilus, the file list is striped between different shades of grey. Not quite 50 shades of grey, but uh, you know, there's a, only about three or four shades there. And on the volume control bar, we can see the progress bar has red at the tip. LibreOffice, yeah, doesn't look too bad. One problem though, the close, maximize, minimize buttons there on the top left hand side and the global address bar aren't the correct buttons, they're just some sort of default. If you notice the theme has this, I'm not quite sure what to call them because they're not a Windows, they're not a Linux standard, they're just uh, nice looking close, minimize and maximize buttons. But here on full screen we just have the blank icons, but I'm not finding many themes that actually, that actually transfer the theme buttons over to the global menu as well. The next one I'll take a look at is from the DeLorean theme. So that comes in three different flavours of DeLorean theme striped, standard theme and Dorian theme 3.10. So let's go for the striped one, which the names are just mixed up there, that's all it is. I'll take the non-striped theme. You can see with the DeLorean theme it does have some very nice fancy close, minimise and maximise buttons, as well as nice gradient effects on the tabs. Now the tabs when they're selected are more prominent, that uh, makes it a bit easier to see where you are in a list on the program. Nautilus has some quite nice curved effects on the folder location. The sound bar has no fancy effects on it. Firefox, let's look at previous addresses. It's maximizing, yeah we can see the buttons don't work there at the top, which is unfortunate. The next theme I'm taking a look at is Ambience Dark. This is a darker version of the Ubuntu Ambience theme. And you can see some of this is actually a bit difficult to read, where we've got uh, sort of unselectable items. Very dark grey on a very dark grey background. The menus are all very dark grey. Volume bar, it's the Ubuntu orange. Looking at the folder location buttons, we can see it's just sort of a square with a rounded edge. The list, ooh, that's a rather unusual colour to choose. That's a very light grey, so it looks a bit unusual there. In Firefox. I forgot to mention earlier, all these themes do have consistent colour menus, unlike the standard Ubuntu themes. And here we have a theme that does have the correct close, minimise, maximise buttons on the global menu bar. The fonts chosen here are light grey and orange. The LibreOffice Writer, there's a very dark grey background, contrasts far too much with the white paper here. It's a bit difficult on the eye, that theme, when you've got uh, something that's light on a very dark background. The next theme is Akvamarin. This is a complete different colour to the other themes. We have a, oh, what would you call that? A dark cyan background with a light cyan foreground. The tabs jut out a little bit there, don't they? But uh, nothing too much to make them really obvious compared to like the DeLorean theme. Interestingly there, on the global menu bar, the minimise and maximise buttons are a slightly different colour. In Nautilus, with the folder buttons there, it seems to be quite difficult to see where you are, doesn't it? So let's trail down a few folders and just select them. It doesn't seem that obvious where each one is selectable. And also there's actually an error there because we're missing the light edge on the right hand side. That's no good. Let's take a look at the progress bar on the sound bar. We do have a glowing red tip to it. The right click menu seems to look like the rest of the theme. And the same right here on Firefox. The fonts chosen here are cyan and blue. Let's take a quick look at LibreOffice Writer. Okay, that does look really bad in places there. We've got cyan writing on the white background. And the last theme I'm going to choose is Zorin Dark Orb 8. This will be one of the themes on the Zorin OS 8 release. And you can see we have a selection of black, dark grey and light blue. The icons in the global menu, once again, aren't the right ones. Oh, it does seem a bit difficult to see which tabs are selected there. Uh, there's nothing prominent about them. 
The folder listed Nautilus is a bit different to the other themes where we just got a light blue underlining of the buttons and when you hover over them it does light up a bit. In fact it seems to be like that on all the buttons doesn't it? They just have a blue underline rather than showing a full button. It might be a bit difficult to get used to that. Or well, the right click menu is dark grey and light blue highlighting. The same colours are in Firefox as well. Looking at the font colours chosen there we have white with a light blue. Seems consistent with the rest of the theme. And lastly let's see what LibreOffice Writer looks like. Seems okay with the buttons but once again when you've got something very bright on the dark grey background it does seem a bit uh, difficult to see with the, with the very contrasting colours. So let's look at five different dark colour themes for Ubuntu. Thanks for watching, I'll see you later.